Hi everyone, I'm Anna Smith and I'm here with another technique video to show you how to make a beautiful card for Christmas We're using some of our new holiday products. So here is the card and I'll move it around a little bit so hopefully you can see the beautiful glitter on the trees. This is the stamp set I used. It's called Joyful Season. And this is the embossing folder I used with the trees. I have been using this a ton. It is a really cool one. So here is how to get started. I already embossed the Knight of Navy background using the trees. And you'll want to make sure when you do this, I just inserted the area that's going to be the front of the card in here halfway and then I ran it through the big shot this direction. Now you want to make sure that the correct direction is up on this obviously since since the branches you don't want the branches to be pointing down. Um, so that is how you're going to do that. I already embossed it. Next I am going to use some Whisper White craft ink and a sponge dauber and I am just going to run over these trees with that. Okay, so there is that much. Now, I'm actually going to repeat the same thing with some Versamark. The way I'm going to add the glitter is with the it, it's embossing powder it is our iridescent ice embossing powder so i am going to go back over this and you, the hope is that you're only getting the trees not the areas in between even though you will get some of the areas in between and that's okay don't worry about it okay i got that done now I'm going to sprinkle my embossing powder over this. And as predicted, I did not keep it just on top of the trees. So you're going to want a paintbrush and you're going to run this, any of those areas that you did not want the glitter, any of the areas between the trees, you're going to use that paintbrush to remove most of the glitter or all of it. Doesn't have to be perfect, but I am going to do this and I will be right back. Okay, so I got that done. Here is what it looks like. And now I'm going to use my heat tool to heat it up and heat set all of that embossing powder. All right, so there is that much. And I just think that is beautiful. So next I am going to work on this piece. For this piece of the card, I stamped the bird and the branch from the stamp set I showed you using our new archival basic black ink. And this vellum is from one of our new paper packs in the holiday catalog. I also stamped the cardinal onto some white cardstock and then colored it in. You can't stamp it using the stamp set. I wanted it a little bit darker, so I just colored it in with my Stampin' Right marker. Now, I am going to do a couple of things to this piece. I am going to color the berries in red. On the front. On the back, I am actually going to use my white gel pen to color the back of the berries. This will help that red color to stand out since, since it's on the vellum. When I put it over the blue, the red doesn't really show up very well. So if I put this white on the back, it will help them show up a brighter color. And did color in that branch with soft suede. OK, 
Okay, and I have already pierced holes on the corners. I'm going to attach this using our mini brads. And I did, I stamped and embossed the greeting using white embossing ink. Now I am going to add the cardinal using some dimensionals. And one of our Winter Wonderland embellishments using a glue dot. And I did add on my original card, I added a little bit of Dazzling Details glitter to the Cardinal because I thought it was pretty. And here's the inside that I stamped as well. So. I hope you enjoyed that. I would love for you to try it out yourself and check out my other videos, my blog, scrapping, stamping, and stuff.com and do your shopping on my online store. Thanks.